Welcome along to my Christmas special where I am going to be teaching you how to code up this snowman using Python's turtle module. Now there are a few fiddly bits in this tutorial so there's every chance that I will split this video up into two videos so I'll give you a break halfway through. So let's get started today by creating the body of the snowman and throwing on the buttons and his face. Okay so let's head on over to our Python editor. Um, I'm using Mew today. And the first thing we're going to do, as always, when we're using Turtle, is write from Turtle, import star. So that's just saying, from Python's Turtle module, we're going to import all of the functions inside of it. Okay, so we've now got access to all the functions that will allow us to draw on the screen. Now I want to draw um, at the quickest speed possible today, so I'm going to set my drawing speed to zero using the speed function. Um, after that I'm going to set my page up, so I'm going to use the setup function and in brackets I'm going to write 800 for the width of my screen size and 700 for the height of my screen size. Um, next thing I'm going to do is we're going to throw in a blue background onto our image. So I'm going to put a comment in here that says blue background and first of all I'm going to lift my pen up and I'm going to go to a set of coordinates. I'm going to go to zero for the x-axis and then minus 320 for the y-axis. So that's moving us basically straight down the page. Um, once we're in position, we put our pen down. And what we're going to draw here is a circle. Okay, so the color I want for this circle is going to be light sky blue. And I'm going to turn my fill on because I want this circle filled in with this light sky blue color. And now I simply draw a circle by calling up the circle function. And in brackets we write down the radius size. So I'm going to do 320 for that. And then I can end the fill. And that should give us a nice light blue circular background. Let's have a look. I'm just going to save it first of all. So um, I'll call this one Snowman. And there we have it. We've got a nice big blue circle on the screen. That's going to be the background for our image. We're going to draw the snowman inside of this background. Okay, so let's start by drawing the bottom section of the snowman down here. The big white circle is what we're chasing. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit here because I think that's a little bit big. Okay, so let's put in a comment. I'm going to say bottom of body. And I guess it's kind of similar code to what we just did here. So I guess you can copy and paste this. So let's copy that code and paste it down below. Now we're going to change a few bits and pieces, of course. The first thing we're going to change is the coordinates. Not by a lot, though. It's just going to be minus 280 instead of minus 320 for the Y value. Okay. The other thing we're going to change is the color. So we're going to go off from the light sky blue and just go back to white. And the circle size not going to be 320. We're going to make it about 110. And that's basically it. So let's see how that looks. Save it and run it. There's the bottom of our snowman drawn. Okay, you can see a little um, bit hanging out the bottom there. That's just the turtle. So that little mouse cursory thing that draws all the shapes on the screen. We'll hide that later on. So don't worry about that little pointy bit at the bottom of the circle. Okay, so that's the bottom um, section. What we can do next is do another copy and paste job and do the middle section of the snowman. So I'm just going to copy that section and I'm going to paste it down below. So instead of the comment saying bottom of body, I'm going to say whoops, middle of body. And I'm going to change my y coordinate here again to minus 110. Uh, the color's already set to white, so you can delete that line. We don't need that in there anymore. And when we begin our fill, the circle size, this is what we need to change here, the 110 needs to drop back to about size 90. Okay, so it's a little bit smaller than that circle we just drew, and it's going to be up on top of it. When we give it a run, there is our middle section of the snowman. Last one I'm going to do is the head, so the top section of our snowman and again it's a copy and paste job so let's copy that middle of body section paste it in down below first of all change the comment there to say head of snowman 
Uh, now there, oh, sorry, in there we're going to have to change the Y value to 20. So just moving us further up the page. And the circle size is going to be 70. Okay, so we've gone from size 110 for the bottom part of the body. We've taken off 20 to go to 90. And then 70 pixels for the head of the snowman. Give it a run and you'll have three circles. Bang, 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 straight on top of each other. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now what I want to do next is I want to draw in the eyes and the buttons on this snowman. And they're all going to be exactly the same size. They're going to be look, basically look exactly the same as each other. So instead of writing the code over and over again for each of those different buttons and eyes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something called a function, which is just a little snippet of code that I can use again time and time, oh sorry, I can use over and over time and time again. Okay, so this is how we write it. Actually, we'll put a comment in first that says function to draw one small black circle. Okay, because they're going to be the eyes and the buttons. Okay, so write up a function, a little reusable piece of code. We need to write DEF. That stands for define. We're defining a function. And we need to give this function a name. So I'm going to call it black underscore circle. Okay, when you write your function names, it has to be one word. That's why I've stuck the underscore in there. At the end of that, you need to do an opening and closing bracket and put a colon. And when you press enter, you'll see that your mouse cursor has been indented from the left-hand side of the page. That is just telling us that the code that has been indented below here is what makes up this function called black circle. It's going to make a bit more sense in just a moment. So let's write in the code now to draw a single black circle. First of all, change the color to black. And then second of all, we're just going to draw a circle and fill it in with the color. Okay, the circle only needs to be size 10 for the radius, so it's quite a small circle. And after that, we just end the fill. And it's quite simple, that's it. That's the code there to draw one single black circle. And what we can do now is call this function up multiple times and what it does is basically it runs these four lines of code. Each time we call this function up, it just goes back and it just runs these four lines of code. Okay, let me show you how it works. Let's start with the eyes. So I'm going to put in a comment here. First thing I want to do is I want to set my x value. That's where I want this first eye to go. So I'm going to create a variable called x. And I'm going to say x equals minus 20. And from here, we're just going to do two eyes. So let's do a loop for i in range 2. We're going to lift our pen up off the page first of all and go to this, these coordinates. So I'm going to go to x, comma, 110. Oops. So 110 for the y value. x is set to minus 20. You'll see why I've used the variable x down here in a moment. Um, once we're in position, we put our pen down on the page, ready to start drawing. And now I'm going to call up this function here, the one that draws a black circle. So all I need to do for these four lines of code to run is simply write black underscore circle bracket bracket. Okay, so when the computer hits this line of code, it knows to go back up here to this function and run everything inside of it. So these four lines here. Okay, this section here I forgot to tell you before as well, will not run until we've called it up. So while it is sitting in our code right here, these little black dots won't appear on the screen unless we've called it up. Okay, so we've called up that function called black circle. So we'll have the first of the black circles appear. Okay, once that first one appears, I'm going to go x equals x plus 40. So basically it's going to move 40 spaces to the right where it can put in the second eye. Because remember, we are repeating this section of code twice. So we draw two eyes. Okay, a little bit confusing, but let's give it a run and see what happens. There we go. So we've got the three circles and then the two eyes. Okay, um, so that's looking good. What we're going to do now is use these same black circles to draw some buttons on the snowman. All right, so what we'll do is put in a comment that says buttons. And this time, the x value is going to stay the same. It's the y value that's going to change. Okay, we're going to go up and down putting these buttons on. So let's make a new variable called y, and we're going to set it to 0. 
That's basically smack bang in the middle of the page it will be. Now I want five buttons to go onto this snowman. So I'm going to create a loop that will repeat five times. So let's write 4i in range 5. And I'm going to put a colon on the end. And when we press enter, we write in the code that we want to repeat five times. So the first one is we're going to move into a starting coordinate. So lift our pen up. Choose go to and write 0, comma y. And then put the pen down. Okay, so we're now in position. Let's draw our circle. So we simply call up the black circle function again. Okay, so when the computer sees this, it knows to go back up here and run the black circle function. So these four lines of code get run to create a black circle. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to go y equals y minus 55. So each time we draw one black circle, it changes our y value, which is on the y axis, by minus 55. So that's going to basically move us down the page. Okay, let's see if we can get five black dots by giving that a run. There we go. So pretty easy to draw the eyes and the buttons. Next thing I'm going to draw is the mouth. Okay, so let's pop back over to our um, code and down the bottom put in a comment that says mouth and we're going to lift our pen up off the page first of all. We're going to go to our new set of coordinates which is 0 and 70 and put our pen down. So what we're looking to draw in this position is two things. First of all, let me just show you what we got. First thing I want you to draw is a red circle. Okay, and then we're going to overlap it slightly with a white circle, which is the same color as the snowman itself. And because they're overlapping one another, we'll be able to just see a little bit of the red circle shining through. And that's going to create a mouth for us. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so now that we're in position, first thing we want to do is change our color to red. So we can draw the mouth. We'll turn the fill on. We'll make our circle size 17, just to be precise. And then we'll end our fill. And that's going to give us a red mouth, basically. What I want to do now is draw a white circle over most of that red circle, just to hide it, because it is obviously way too big. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste this code I just put in. This here. So go down. All you need to change is the coordinates ever so slightly, from 70 to 75. And you want to change the color from red to white and other than that I think we are good to go so let's see if this white circle here overlaps the red circle that we just drew yep there we go and you can see it does look a little bit funny that mouth but remember that pointy turtle um, cursor is sitting on top of the red circle at the moment so that's what looks a bit funny but basically that is the snowman looking pretty good so far okay so I might pause the video here and have a quick break and when we come back we're going to do the harder parts so we're going to do the arms and the fingers that's always a little bit fiddly and then we're going to do the hat and throw a little bit of writing up the top of the page okay so let's um, save what we've got and I'll catch you in the next video